recording in progress. And you are good to go. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, joining uh, this beautiful uh, this this beautiful Tuesday morning. And uh, thanks, Austin, for setting me up for a uh, uh, a talk of uh, seven weeks of preparation. <laughs> um, uh, that is uh, unfortunately not the uh, uh, not the case. Um, but um, with uh, with my with my uh, talk today, um, it's uh, I guess a, a little inspired from a, a, a text last night of just continue writing uh, about what uh, you know, what we're what we learn or what what I have learned uh, in my journey. And as uh, some uh, may know, I've been uh, on this journey for uh, uh, coming up here on three years um, and uh, as I put my notes to paper here the uh, last few hours um, day here as to you know what are some of those learnings what are some of those things that um, that I've that I've that I've done um, and that I've learned um, you know, two words that uh, definitely resound with me and and have resounded with me for quite some time are uh, growth and contribution. Um, uh, I have definitely grown a lot in um, all uh, in many aspects um, and uh, been able to contribute uh, way more um, as as I've gone. And something that um, Something I I, I, I recognized um, that kind of was happening in in all of uh, in all of the in all of the mess and turmoil of the initial uh, stages and and the growth out of that was uh, learning to obviously break cycles and routines um, that became very easy um, and and trying to stop the um, I heard this uh, a while back in a, 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 from someone when I was uh, talking with them and just kind of, you know, that, that general, how's your day going and, and, or how's the week going? And, you know, the response was, you know, just the normal rinse and repeat of, of, of the, of the day of the week. And, you know, it's really about, as, as you all know, it's about breaking the cycles and 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 creating new routines and creating new cycles uh, in our life that are super important. Um, a few months ago, I shared uh, some of the morning routines that I do, and definitely recognize um, definitely recognize the um, the importance of those, but also recognize when I get off of that routine, um, my, especially my morning routine of uh, prayer and reflection and devotions and writing. Um, and if I get off that um, and uh, miss, uh, just even missing one day, uh, but definitely missing multiple days uh, in a week, I can definitely feel what, uh, what can happen uh, and how original cycles can kind of easily kind of slide back in of uh, becoming more agitated or more upset or quicker to quicker to anger. Um, and long story short, in, in what I'm talking about this morning is is a very simple but yet I found to be very powerful thing for me to be able to do in uh, my routines throughout the day. Uh, and when I'm feeling uh, overwhelmed or feeling uh, uh, a lot happening, um, as um, Austin, some guys know, um, big transition uh, in my my work life. And um, when I picked this day to do this uh, talk, I didn't uh, uh, at that time frame uh, knew some things were in, in the works, but didn't know uh, exact uh, time frames when they would happen. And it's this week that everything is happening. So uh, it's it's been a, a, a blur of a week last week and a blur this week. Um, and this is and this 
I think this is what uh, came to me as I was driving home last night uh, from work um, on just really to talk to. And it is something that when we go through it, I, I hope uh, I hope that it can help help break cycles for you, but also just help you to connect throughout the day and in prayer. And with that, it's all right, we're going to pause for a second and we're going to stop, pause, breathe, listen, and feel. And what do I mean by the, those words? Well, what I mean by those words is we all have probably once in our life said, oh, I wish I had some more time in this day. Uh, day is going so by, it's a blur, it's it's. Uh, time is slipping away. I don't have time to do that. When am I going to have time to work on my my Bible reading? When am I going to be able to work on my step work? Um, and this isn't to work on when, when you can find the 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes to do those things. This is throughout this day, uh, throughout your day. Um, and it's kind of based around something that I continually uh, let myself fall into, which was letting the, an unknown ending keep me from a beginning. And in the early stages, as some of us uh, can remember and some of us might be in right now, it's that unknown ending um, that is scaring us but it's also keeping us from the beginning. And so I wanna do a little, a little activity. So if you have a pen and paper uh, in front of you or even just mentally jotting this down, I'm gonna say start and then I'm gonna say stop. And I want you to uh, write down how long you think it is without cheating and looking at your watch or phone or something like that. So start. Stop. And you can uh, unmute yourself for a second if you need to. Uh, any guesses without uh, without you have been looking at your phone or, or watch beforehand? How long, how, how much time was that between stop and start? 26 seconds. <laughs> 20, 21 seconds. At 21. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So Good. So some of you are some math mathematicians out there, and uh, some uh, some good uh, time uh, time stoppers. Anybody think that it was any longer than that without uh, counting it out or watching? I'd say about forty seconds. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm around the forty forty five seconds. All right. Well, I know you can't see my watch, but uh, uh, sorry, I didn't catch the name on there, but uh, it's uh, 26 seconds. Uh, so uh, great job on uh, who got that uh, 26 second, uh, uh, 26 second. Was so we're do it again. It's yeah, completely good, Murray. Um, uh, it's, now when we do this again, I want you to, Think about what can you do in that time frame? And again, that stopping, pausing, breathing, listening, feeling. Because when we go through our day, we feel we have no time to do something. We uh, can't figure out uh, when we're going to be able to get this done. Work, life, kids. Um, uh, families, uh, whatever it might be, but doing this activity again and looking at it from in those moments throughout your day, in those moments of both 
feeling overwhelmed, feeling anxiety, feeling stress, feeling uh, whatever it might be. In those 26 seconds that uh, that you take and, and doing this this little activity, something that I did subconsciously uh, without even really realizing it was um, throughout those time frames when I was feeling these things years ago, and even now, uh, even just even just doing this, uh, I don't even know how many times did this yesterday um, with the uh, the whirl of the day. <sighs> But one thing that I have consciously done, but also intentionally done is when I do these little activities, I am, I'm looking up and I'm saying, Lord, thank you for, and whatever comes to my heart, whatever that might be, gratefulness, coffee, uh, breath, air, life, uh, whatever that might be, but you realize 26 seconds is a very long time. And it's a, it's a, it's a time that you can have in those moments um, to break that cycle, to, to break those things. So doing this activity one more time. And again, now, now, you know, there's that uncomfortable silence, but it's only 26 seconds. So we'll do it one more time. Start. Stop. It's the realization of stopping that cycle, stopping that routine. It's the realization of only 26 seconds to give praise, give thanks. And it, it, it led me Last night, and it's 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 amazing how the Lord works. Because um, one of the uh, Bible verses uh, I had written down last night was "Pray without ceasing," from First Thessalonians five seventeen. And today's Bible verse in the U Version Bible app is "Pray without ceasing," First Thessalonians five seventeen. It it's uh, throughout the day. Um, it is my. It is it is is my prayer time. It's my uh, reflection time, but it's also my time to uh, to step closer um, to God to to ask Him for um, patience. Uh, it's my time to surrender to to God. It's my time to just reset myself, and um, it's actually something that I've even started kind of implementing and instituting in, in my own life uh, at home. Uh, I have uh, two uh, young uh, toddler daughters. Um, and so for those of you that have kids, know what kids are, have seen kids, um, uh, a three-year-old and a five-year-old can uh, definitely um, wane on you. And I've actually taken this, uh, this time if, if, uh, if they're doing something and, and not listening uh, just to stop, uh, to obviously not overreact, but to to just reset myself. It's that quick little reset. It's that quick little time to, Lord, thank you for my daughters. Uh, Lord, thank you for uh, uh, opening my heart at this moment. Lord, guide me in in the direction to help discipline them. Um, whatever whatever it might be. And it's even, um, it even works. Um, uh, I love the term that uh, I've heard Dave uh, talk about, uh, Dr. Dave talk about of, of uh, dust ups with my wife. Um, and I've even used it, hun, give me 26 seconds <laughs> so that I can take that breath, so I can pause, I can breathe, I can listen, I can feel, and that I can come back and have a, uh, a better conversation with my wife. Um, I can kind of reset myself in that time frame, but it's 26 seconds. 
And when you do this and you, and you start thinking about all the things you can pray about, all the things that you can just break the routine on by just taking that little bit of time. And by taking that time for myself, another thing that happened uh, for me is it's turn down the volume on my doubts and help me to stay focused on my purpose. Um, because it's that quick reset and it's that being able to come from here instead of coming from here. Um, now, if it's something that, that you start looking at or implementing, um, I myself have been able to do it now. I, I'm able to, uh, I figured out with my breathing uh, how I'm able to do it. And it's for me, it's three long breaths. Um, and that's at 26 seconds for me. So I don't have to use my, my watch, my phone and, and click something to start it. Um, it's, 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 it's a way to, to just lower that, uh, that moment that you're there. It's, it's, and it's my way to continually throughout the day, pray without ceasing. Um, because nothing, uh, nothing's impossible for God and he is able to, uh, guide me in that time frame. He's able to grow me. Um, he's able to help me contribute and to just, to just grow. Um, and I, I hope that that uh, little short seconds uh, might help implement something in your life, uh, might help break a cycle, uh, break a routine. Um, and maybe even break your silence uh, that you might be feeling of not being able to have time to, to, to thank God or, or talk to God. So um, that's, that's a part of my talk. And the second part of my talk is uh, it's, it's just, it's this, this part's a, sh a short little bit, but it's, it's something again about breaking kind of cycles, breaking, um, uh, breaking that rinse and repeat that can happen. And it's something uh, I had uh, read just, a, I think, a few weeks ago. And it, and it really, really resonated with me. Uh, I'm, uh, I am somebody that can uh, wake up early and, and uh, I am on a, a very uh, a kind of early schedule because that's my time to do my reading, my devotions, um, a time when the, the family's asleep. Um, but I've added something to it um, once to twice a week. Um, instead of uh, being in here, the office, I'm just on the other side. Um, I'm just on the other side right there. And it's something called trading the dark for the light. Um, we all know um, the darkness that uh, enveloped us in our life with our, our, our addiction. And uh, for many of us, uh, we did it in the dark. Um, and um, because we can get carried away uh, at night in, in the dark with worry, work, addiction, um, Netflix and chilling, um, and just many, many other things. And that darkness uh, is a distraction. But it's about trading it for a couple sunrises instead. Uh, and so what I mean by trading the dark for the light is... Challenge yourself to, for those of you that uh, might not uh, get up early in the morning, some of us have to for work, some of us do it uh, just because we do, but to try to intentionally, maybe just once a month, trade the dark, meaning go to bed early uh, so that you can get up early and to watch a Watch a sunrise, watch the sky open up in the morning. Uh, I did it this morning. Uh, your phone or tablet or laptop will tell you when the sunrise happens so you can plan accordingly. According to the, according to the, the, the weather app, it's 5.32 this morning is when sunrise is. So getting out there beforehand and just nothing, no phone, no nothing. Uh, maybe a cup of coffee, maybe a tea, maybe your water, whatever that might be. But trading, 
some darkness for a couple sunrises because hope, which is a huge word for me, is eager to bust on the scene every single morning. Hope, hope for a new day um, because everything starts uh, afresh every day. And it leads me to uh, a verse that has uh, got me through a lot and is a verse um, that I, uh, I would say I read uh, and write down uh, uh, probably every, uh, every other week. It's a verse that I write down in my, uh, in my journal. And it is, yet I still dare to hope when I remember this, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Lamentations 3, 21 through 24. So, gentlemen, with seven weeks of preparation, uh, I, I give you my little 26-second rule and trading some of those late nights for an early morning um, and just see how that can help refresh and restart your day and help just break some of those cycles that uh, may, may just bring us down. So I thank you so much for let me talk with you guys and uh, uh, giving you some little insight into some things that I've learned and hopefully can pass on to you guys. All good, Austin.